Hey guys, um, welcome back to Just Ignore Them. Um, we're going to have another episode right here real quick, and um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm really interested to see where all this goes. Um, it, it's so off the wall and crazy, I don't really have any real notion where it's headed. But, uh, you know, the last episode had a little bit of an a audio problem, and I'm, I'm tweaking that. You know, everything I do, it, it, I'm teaching myself as I do it. I've never really done much of this before, so I don't know. It's really fun, and I'm glad I get to have time to do it. Oh, I'm playing as, uh, playing as Bree now. Okay, got nothing to say. All right, I can't do anything with it. With it, these people. All right, let's go to the lab then. Let's talk to this. He doesn't look too friendly. Uh, you know, let's not talk to the strange passenger. Um, I could really use a smoke. I should be all right in the girls' lavatories. I better cover up that smoke detector, though. All right, so let's go in here. What am I going to cover up the smoke detector with? Maybe toilet paper? Is that the smoke detector? There we go. That should work. Yeah, a lot of sick. <sighs> oh, Christ. I needed that. Another two fucking hours until we reach New York. And this is my last smoke. That should be good for now. I wonder why Mark lied to me. He did give me the videotape from Bill. Should I trust him? Anyway, I should be heading back. She just came back here to have a smoke. She didn't to go to the live. She didn't have to go to the bathroom. She didn't want to smoke. And she lied to me. It's all a lie. Electronic lock system. Alright. Who is this guy? And what does he want with me? Why is, why is there a spotlight around him? So many questions. Another thing about this game is like, the parts. What the fuck? Where, where did everyone go? Where'd you go, Mark? I need to call for help. Yeah, you do. Um, is, is this just something? Hello? Is there anyone there? Anyone? Yes. Hello? Is everything okay? Thank God, there's someone still flying this thing. What's the emergency? There's no one on the plane. All the passengers have gone. That's impossible. Where would they go? Look, I can't leave the cockpit, but you need to stay calm and find out what's going on. What? Me? Yes. As I said, I can't leave. Someone needs to fly this thing. <laughs> but if you need help, use the communication panel. Okay, I'll see what I can do. All right, they can't have all disappeared. Wait, that man in economy, he should still be there. All right, let's go see weird guy. But yeah, this this game has such long parts that it like it's hard to break them up. There's not a real break. I like to have you know long enough chunks that I feel like we're making progress, but not too long that it's like a a, a commitment to really have to sit down and watch them. But you know, it's I'm learning. It takes time. Fun stuff, though. Oh, good. He's still there. Wait. Why didn't you disappear? May I help you, young lady? N no, that's okay. Thanks. Nonsense. You seem distraught. What's the problem? Have you been asleep this whole time? Everyone's gone. Have we already landed? No, we're still flying, and there's no one on this plane besides you, me, and the pilot. Who are you, anyway? Air Marshal Neeson. Air Marshal Neeson. Like Liam Neeson? Liam. Oh, good. So you're a cop. Well, sort of. And you are? My name's Bree. So, can you help me? Yes. I have a particular set of skills. And sort of, for that question, too. What do you mean, sort of, help me? What I mean by that is, unless you can prove your case... I'll be staying right here. Gee, what a jerk. Everyone's a jerk, miss, but only a few truly show it. 
how true he's saying what all of us are thinking about. Alright. So everyone's gone. And it's that's just fantastic. You know, you don't really need anybody anyway. I can't do anything. It's a locker and it's locked. Don't need that. The hatch above is locked. Can't do anything with it. Alright. So I've got to prove my case to Liam. I gotta prove myself. Show Liam that I'm telling the truth. How am I gonna show Liam that I'm telling the truth? It's locked. Door hatch is locked. Alright. So do you have any proof yet? Otherwise I ain't getting up. Asshole. Light you on fire. Alright. Uh, any, what do you, what more proof? You're sitting in an empty plane. Is there anything more you need? Hello, Mr. Pilot? Are you still there? Yes, I am. Have you found anyone yet? I found one passenger so far. Although he seems like a prick. Ah, uh, I see. You've met Neeson. Yeah, the... Air Marshal. Well, at least this is a good sign. He said he won't help me until I have proof of the situation. He can be very stubborn at times. He won't even get up off his seat. Hmm, okay. See what you can find. I'll unlock the overhead storage. It's just outside my door. You may find something useful in there. Thanks. Alright, so the overhead storage. That's the one up here. I also turned my phone off because it's freaking spam callers last time, man. What's that? It's a digital camera. I can use this to show Neeson some proof. Shit, there's not much battery life left on this thing. I need to take the photo now. Shit, this camera doesn't have enough charge to use a flash. I guess this will do. I need to get this to Neeson before the batteries die. Here's your proof. Let me see. A black screen. What? No! It still had some battery left. It's okay. Don't worry. I believe you. Really? Why? Well, you were gone for so long I had a peek in the section ahead. You really are a prick. Do you want my help or not? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to speak with the pilot. What should I do? I want you to check the luggage compartment. It's located in the rear of the plane. I'll have the pilot unlock it for you. Gee, that sounds like fun. Good, so you'll be fine then. I don't think I should give that away. You're right, you shouldn't give that away. Keep the camera forever. Hello, Bree. Are you there? Neeson? Where is his voice coming from? I'm using the voiceover system. I need you to come to the cockpit. There's something you need to see. I have a bad feeling about this. I need to see Neeson first. Alright. Why was Neeson sitting alone in the back of the plane? Interesting. Neeson, what's going on? Where the fuck are the pilots? That's what I wanted to show you. There's no one flying this plane. Shit, shit, shit. The pilot was right here. I spoke to him about 15 minutes ago. Interesting. What is? The man, or should I say, pilot that spoke with you? Did he know my name? Yeah, he did. Doesn't he need to know your name? He does, but... But... I only met him a few hours before takeoff. He called me Nelson twice and Nathan once. So, what does that mean? How could he remember me now, of all the times? Maybe you wrote it down or something. Bree, that wasn't the pilot you were speaking to. Then who was it? I don't know. But we should find out who can fly this thing. Autopilot won't last forever. Can't you fly this plane? All I can do is arrest it. Of all the times you crack the wise-ass jokes now, for real though, for real though. Did you check the luggage compartment yet? 
No, I haven't. Tell me what you find. I'm going to radio for instructions. Okay. Yeah, let's just, let's split up because that always worked in every horror game ever. Always, just, just split up. Just split up. Because, you know, that's how you survive. That's how everyone survives. Nice and, oh my lord. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? Why is he dead? Mark! Huh? What the fuck is that thing? Stay away! Oh my god, I'm going to die. Ah! Huh? I'm alive. Bree, can you hear me? Come to the pilot comm box ahead of you. Mutilated corpse. Must have been one of the passengers. The poor bastard. Nobody deserves to die like this. I'm going to throw up if I keep looking at him. Bree, did you find anything? I yeah, I, I did. And you're not going to believe me. What happened? Uh, a monster just attacked me. Huh? See, you don't believe me. What did it look like? Huh? Oh, it was huge. It had three tube things coming out of its head to its neck, and it had a giant smile. Huh. Didn't look like anything like what I saw. What? You've seen? I saw something. I'm not sure what it was. A small little white guy with no face. Oh good, there's more of them. I'm afraid so. What do we do now? See what you can find. Okay. So this is... Uh, nope. As if anyone in their right mind would follow that trail. I should just tell Neeson there's nothing down here. Bree? Bree, is that you? Mark? Mark, are you down here? I guess I'll have to follow the trail then. I just hope this isn't Mark's blood. Alright. So. How. Hmm. Got nothing to say. So, how did his dad. How is his dad connected with with the monsters and hmm maybe we'll find out what the fuck is that that must be the thing Neeson mentioned what's this a candy bar it must have dropped it where are you Mark what's in here maybe I can get Neeson to open it I better see if he's okay Alright, so that, I guess that, that that monster is um, probably the one that's on the, the front main menu of the game. It kind of looks like that. Why'd I go up there? I know better than to go up there. Alright. There's something running through the vents. Huh? What do you mean by that? A mouse? What was that thing you saw earlier? Oh, that. That's probably nothing. What? What do you mean, nothing? You were very keen to tell... Shh! What do you mean by shh? I mean shh. Look under the co-pilot seat. Slowly turn around. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, that's nice. Neeson, what do we do? Neeson, what do we do? It sounds just like me. It sounds just like me. <laughs> just ignore it, Bree. It'll leave. Nope. <laughs> Why is it hiding under the chair? It seems to be sensitive to light. It's probably why it's traveling through the vents. What do we do? He seems to be fixed on you. What does it want? Yummy, yummy skin. It wants my skin. It's pointing to your pocket. What's this? Looks like candy. I don't think there's candy dripping from its mouth. Just give it to him. Here you go. Now fuck off. 
He's gone. I found out what happened to the pilots. Press play on the black box recorder. How long now? Really? That long? So when did this storm show up? Who's he talking to? Just wait. Everyone's, everything's in check. Wait. Why is the smoke sensor going off in the bathroom? Uh, whoops. Hang on, there's someone at the door. What do you mean all the passengers have been eaten? We're not flying a mutated alligator here. Jeez, you're covered in blood. Quick, in here, now. Hello? I need instruction, over. Excuse me, just who am I speaking to? Kobe? I'm sorry, did you say your name was Copycat? Look, I need... Wait, what the hell is that? No, don't go near it. I don't care if it looks hurt. It doesn't look safe. What the fuck? Stay away. Get off me. Ah! Oh god. That thing came through this hatch. But that means it would have to... It would have had to walk right past you. It didn't seem to notice me. It was interested in someone named Mark. That's my friend, Mark. I have to find him. Where could he be? There's a big door in the luggage compartment. I think this passage door leads straight into that room. Through the vents. I'm not going in there without, with that thing. Maybe you can draw it out of the vents. With what? Try to find some more candy. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Alright, stop copying me. Copycat. All right, maybe in the luggage up here, there's some. And if there's not, then I can only assume that I'm going to have to go to the under area, the storage area where I was earlier. It's a box. It looks sturdy. It'd be a great photographer. Alright, so. Hello, candy bar. Hello. Hello. Are you here? What can we find in here? Duh. Well, what do you know? A fresh pack of batteries. There's always come in handy. These always do come in handy. A fresh pack of batteries are always nice. That's ridiculous. Okay, the batteries fit. It just happened to fit the camera. This is all very, very convenient. Alright, so... Let's go down here to the... Per, could be a, a perfect photographer block here. And let's set that up there. I can set the camera on a timer and flash the little bastard. box. It looks dirty. Be a great photographer. Alright, but uh, if I do that, if I do that, now I've got to find a way to lure him out. How am I going to do that? That's the fun thing. It's the one thing you need to worry about. How to lure the monster out of the vent. It was there the entire time. I walked by this like seven or eight thousand times. I've been doing this for like twenty minutes gotta be kidding me okay on three one two three all right okay all righty can't do anything with it let's put the candy bar over here by the vent that work nope there we go 
Maybe it'll come out if I leave the candy bar here. I hope. Boom. Got him. I don't want to go near that thing. But he's outside. So that means I can go back to the cockpit. And I can... Go back down into that room. Huh? Where did Neeson go? I hope that thing didn't get him. Someone needs to fly this plane. What's that? It's a gun. It must be Neeson's. There's a note next to it. Bree, take this. You'll need it. This will come in handy. Alright, let's go down. Mark, please, don't be dead. Mark! Huh? Bree? Oh, thank Christ, you're alive. Why? What happened? I... I can't remember anything. Must have blacked out. Are you okay? But I'm, I'm fine. I just have a nice, nasty headache. Mark, you need to tell me what's going on here. Everyone is fucking gone. What? Really? Have we landed? No! They were fucking eaten! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They must have followed us onto the plane. What followed us? Bree, calm down. I don't want us to become lunch. I almost... It, it almost fucking touched me. Okay, I'm calm. I'm calm. 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 Now, have you seen these things? Yes, two of them. What did they look like? Well, one looked like a child in a dark coat. It copied everything I said using my voice. Ah, copycat. What? That's its name. Copycat. Okay, so how the fuck do you know its name? That's the name I gave it when I was a kid. What did the other one look like? You're gonna explain all of this to me later. You are. It was huge. 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 It had tubes in its neck and that big smile. Bree, we need to get off the plane. Now. Why? Let's just find any remaining survivors and find out how to land this thing. There was an air marshal, but I have no idea where he is. See if you can find him. I'll head to the cockpit and radio for instructions. This must be the controls for the door. I don't need that. That won't work. Okay, so I have the gun. Got nothing to say. Got nothing to say. Bree, huh? Neeson? Where the fuck have you been? Well, I was searching for survivors. Heard crying coming from the women's bathroom. I thought it was you. Neeson, don't start this shit with me. First, you were the only one left on this plane after everything. everyone went missing. Second, why the hell did you leave me your gun, Bree? And finally, you show up now? You're only 15 minutes away from the airport. This isn't the time to be playing games, Bree. We won't survive. What do you mean? We're almost there. We're going to make it. For so long, I've been weak. What are you going on about? I, I need to eat. Well, just eat something. Oh, I will. Soon enough. Wait. So that's why you're the only passenger left. Stay the fuck there. Bree, what's the matter, young lady? I don't trust you. That's the matter. And why's that? I thought we were getting along so well. We were, until you started acting like a fucking creep. Aw, that's no way to speak to your daddy. It's no way to speak to your daddy. <laughs> don't you fucking say that. But I've missed you, my little boo-boo. Uh, Neeson, stop it now. You wouldn't shoot your own daddy, would you, Bree? You're not my father. This is for everyone who you killed today. Bree, no, wait! Take that, you son of a bitch. Huh? It... 
It's you. That means... Oh god, no. Neeson! Bree, this is Mark. Come to the cockpit. <sighs> really? Did you end up finding the air marshal? Bree? Yeah, found him. Where is he? I could sure use his help right about now. He he didn't make it. Sorry to hear that, Bree. But we're in a heap of trouble. I've lost contact with the tower, and I have no fucking no fucking clue about what I'm doing. What do we do, Mark? Well, we wing it. You're not serious. No, I'm not. I have no fucking clue what to do. Great. At least we'll die laughing. Laughing? That might just work. What? We'll laugh the plane to safety? You mentioned before that you'd seen a little man in a dark coat, right? Yeah, so? I need you to bring him to me. Mark, are you out of your goddamn mind? There's no time to explain, just go get him. Well, good thing it's knocked out. music though is pretty good. I like it. So I'm guessing this guy's like haunted by demons or you know these are not just like they prey on people's uh, I don't want you waking up on the way back. Here. Now are you going to explain to me why do you want this thing for? He has a signal booster in his mouth. And before you say how do you know about all this, I'll tell you. These aren't real monsters. They're not real. These things are manufactured. You mean people make these in like a warehouse? Is this some kind of sick joke? If we make it out of here alive, I'll explain the rest. Okay, I boosted the signal. Hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> Hello? This is Control Tower 12. How can I assist? You have no idea how good it is to hear your voice. So here's the short story. There's only two passengers on this flight, which also means there are no pilots. We are in need of instructions. We read you. Stand by for instructions. Make sure all remaining passengers are seated with their safety belts. Bree, I'm going to need you to take the seat and co-pilot this thing for me. Let's do it. Okay, Bree. Are you ready? Wish I had a smoke right about now. Me and you both. I'll buy you some when we land. <laughs> huh. Funny, Mark. Okay, control tower. We're ready. I can't believe we're alive. And I'm not talking about landing the plane. I can't imagine how Bree's feeling. Why didn't they take Bree? Are they after me? I'm not sure about this. Am I... After we landed, we were taken to the hospital. We checked out at 9.45 a.m. We could still make it in time. I just hope he will understand. So, Mark, where are we going? We're going to see someone. Dan? A friend. Do I need to remind you? about what happened on the plane. I'm not lying to you. This guy will explain everything. And you need to start explaining first. He's a scientist. Well, I sh should say was one. He helped create the Jiwi. Is that what those things are called? Yeah, but he will explain it better. I hope we make it in time. You only get one chance a day to see him. Why is that? He doesn't like company. He thinks hiding will keep him safe. Who? Dave. I thought you said his name was Dan. Yeah, I know. I didn't want, it, want to say too much about him. Why? The more you know, the more danger you're in. So, Dave, huh? Sounds like the kind of kid you bully at school. Actually, quite the opposite. Most people feared him. He made a chemical explosive at school once. He never used it, right? Actually, he did. Gee, he sounds crazy. Say, Mark... Yes? 
Why did you take my lighter while I was asleep? Uh, oh, um, sorry, I, I didn't mean to. I needed... Huh, it's okay, Mark. I wasn't really asleep. I'm sorry, Bree. It's okay. We're almost there. Ready? Alright, and this is a good place to end this one. That's a, that was a nice little section there. I spent a lot of time running around that freaking plane. Anyway, if you liked it, uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!